was an incredible evening and we really, really pushed through like with the energy. Um, the cast is incredible, they're so talented people. I love the music and a good story you can't really ruin, can you? What is in the air now Is the smoke I smell now Fire! And it was nice to feel the cast responding to the energy of the audience. It's a grand scale production. The orchestra is grand, the set is grand, the cast is grand, everything is grand. And the wonderful music of Alice Gilham, in, like with the libretto as well, with the lyrics and everything, really, really pushed through tonight. At first, he sent her some roses, then bluebells and daisies and posies. He sent her fine treats, all made her of wrapped up sweets. But she and her mother lifted their noses. I wanted to write something that my friends would want to go into the theatre to come and see. Something that was a bit thrilling, that was a bit romantic, that was a little bit fun, but also full of some very real emotions. And 1904 was a very different time. And yet, we are still dealing with some of the same issues. I can stand it when you're close, but I can't bear it when you're far away. And I can't breathe when you look at me. interesting thing about Clarence Square is that it actually covers a wide range of emotions. There's some action. There's everything from young love. We go to very, very dark places. Finding yourself. There's some heartbreak, there's obsession. Hope. But at the same time we have these roaring ballads of people saying, I will be strong and I will find the strength in me. It's about where is my home, where do I belong. It's about romance, definitely, as well. Oh God, there's everything in it. That's the cool thing. Just put on a smile, be someone new for a while. Choose your own style, whistle a new tune. Open the door, tie all the ribbon and dance the floor. I'd say the dynamic between the two leading characters, Edward and Lily, is basically falling in love without relying on your eyes. Edward is an interesting man. He is a, a wealthy man uh, who, had, who loses his sister in the Great Fire of Toronto, and he's blinded because he runs into the building to fetch her and his eyes are burned. Into his life comes Lily, uh, the new nanny for the children, and he falls in love with her without seeing her. So you know he's really falling in love with her. I mean, they don't speak a lot. They don't speak about their feelings. So they don't know that they are falling in love with each other. Trapped in the dark, day after day. Don't dream of light. Or the life I once had trapped in the dark. Oh, night after night. Don't dream of light. Don't dream of bright blue skies and don't dream of turning my face to the sun. He slowly regains his eyesight and during the course of the show, um, his character explores what you fall in love with in a person. She sees in him what she really needs and also the other way around. She gives him life in his very dark Place. It's not their face, it's their heart, it's their voice, it's who they are, not what they are. I think great potential. I had pictures when I, as a director, have pictures, it's a good sign. Standing here on my own, why do I feel so alone? And I am standing here on the street side, why do I feel, why do I feel?
because they were so generous in their incredible energy. It's 41 scores, and a lot of the music that I write is in six-part harmony, which is not easy to learn. And yet, there was not a moment that they didn't bring everything and all of their energy and all of their generosity. And without them, we have no show. It was a week where you had 13 professionals showing what they can do. It was brilliant. Stuff like this in this style that feels like a classic already is rare these days and that's what makes Clarence Square in my opinion really really special. It's so rare to hear that. Oh